and welcome back guys to the artful podcast with the new episode of the artful news and um we have quite a few things to talk about and um but before we go on with the show please subscribe to the channel it's really important bigger the channel gets bigger the artists that i i can interview and um i can dedicate um 100 of my time to uh this podcast which i love to do and uh just to let you know guys more than 80 percent of the people that watch the this podcast on youtube are not subscribed to the channel so if you're watching this and you're not subscribed please please subscribe to the channel it's really important and um yeah it's it just helps so if you want to support the this podcast go subscribe like the video and share it and all the all the crap um but uh, enough with the commercial um and with the auto uh, promotion and uh, let's go on with the artful uh, news we have a uh, quite a few um article to read um this is a couple of things that i want to talk to you about and yeah it's a new episode of the artful news we have as usual our art news website um which I always uh, relate it's really um it's a pretty good uh, website as first news we have um this weekend uh, i think there was the 20th anniversary of the art miami basel um so the art basel in miami it's um it's one of the biggest uh, showroom for art um going for more like a commercial um kind of taste uh, in art but yeah it's um it's one of the biggest so you have to um cover this so uh it doesn't mean because it's commercial art it's less important that's that's not what it is um the opposite actually it's um um Art Basel it's one of the biggest showroom for for artists so it's 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 a great great um concentration of uh, artists modern artists um that um that, that we have uh, these days so let's go with um let's go read this article on the Art Basel Miami Beach um 20th anniversary the art world has become Miami field for better or worse so i don't i read a little bit about this article and I, I don't think um she is really happy about this uh, this edition of the miami uh, art basil so it's um you know over the it's it's one of those um art show it's um you just go there and most of the time these art for these art shows are for making connection um, so galleries, uh, they go there and see the artworks and they, if the artist is there, they talk to the artist, the artist wants to be, wants to meet as many people as, as they can. So they can make, uh, they can make sales, they can make connections. It's, it's more for like, yeah, the behind the scene kind of, uh, thing uh that's what is worth it um there is a lot of like rich people going there and buying artworks which is you know it's it is what it is it's um uh it's a good thing obviously because they pay for art and uh who have whoever is, is wants to support artists it's it's uh more than welcome so Let's read. Over the last 20 years, I've missed only one edition of the Art Basel Miami Beach in 2004. Uh, uh, um, and therefore convinced that the 2004 edition was the best edition. Um, because obviously she missed it and she doesn't. Apparently she's not a fan of this. Uh, back then, the uh, parties and dinners were in hotels along the beach, uh, like uh, Shore Club, blah, blah, blah. Um, the young galleries were set up in shipping containers parked uh, on sand. So basically, there were 
anywhere they could exhibit they 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 t- it was more about art uh, that's what she's saying um and i feel that's not what is right now it's more for like parties instagram looking um who is there if you find the famous person uh instagrammer influencer tiktokers and all um that uh, all these kind of people that they go there to because it's the party it's the it's what is what is happening right now so they they are not people they go there for the um, um artworks it's more for you know appearance um and um, actually, I know a couple of people that went to some art based on not the one in Miami because I'm in Europe now, so like in Berlin. So, but uh, they went to some art based and they suggest uh, that you go in those kind of art show. You go uh, on Monday and Tuesday, for example, when it's not the weekend, it's not the opening where everybody goes and they are not there for the artworks they are there for the appearance um so if you want to really enjoy the artworks go there on monday and tuesday or some days where you basically um yeah you know it's it's about art more than anything else um let's uh, see um yeah i mean it's an experience and i'll suggest to um, I also suggest people to go. Obviously, it's um, it's one of those things that it's at least once if you can um, go and see it. I went to the Biennale. It's nothing like this. It's nothing like uh, Art Basel. Um, but it's you you know it's one of the biggest um show, and it's just, it's great. It's just basically like you spend a couple of days looking at art, and um. So if you have the chance to go to one of these big um, art show, please, please go and just to check it out, just to see what's going on. Oh, I saw here the Maurizio Catalan uh, presentation of, of Comedian. Um, that's one of the biggest pain that happened in the um, in Miami, like in, in Art Basel in general, um, which um, that I remember. Um it's uh the famous banana with the tape um tape it on the wall and people were buying um they bought the banana which i i think i covered uh, in some other episode of the podcast um uh so real quick here maurizio catalan was not selling the actual banana uh was selling the concept of that artwork so people bought for 120 or 150 thousand uh dollars um the concept of banana of the banana on the wall and i think he sold four of those um and i actually went into the details um to see what they actually bought um so they both the extraction of um how to install exactly how it looked in the in the exhibition the banana um to in their house so because obviously the banana goes off it doesn't stay um pristine forever uh, it's an organic thing so it does it goes off so if you install anything like that it's gonna go off and you're gonna take it um out to get it off the wall um so it was it was actually selling this concept uh of the of this sculpture and um and people were actually uh bought the instruction of how to install this um sculpture let's call it on the wall and if they wanted to do a uh, obviously they got a certificate and, and everything so um yeah that's what people bought that day and actually um Maurizio Catlan during um the I think it was the last day of the art basil um 
he ate the banana that was on the wall. So it was, um, yeah, uh, some people took it as a scandal because they were like, what is this? And some people actually really enjoyed um, this. I'm kind of in the middle. I understand what he did and uh, why people were really intrigued by this. And I think it was a kind of like um, original take on uh, art. And um, But I understand as well people that uh, were upset uh, of or more than upset, I think the people were just confused why um, there was somebody buying a banana for one hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars. Um, but yeah, Maurizio Catalan is one of the biggest uh, artists um, in Italy, and um, it's pretty. Um, I kind of like it. I like it. I like him. It's it's it is really good. And if you don't know him, go uh, go check him. It's it has, it has a lot. Um, it's a giant catalog so go check it out and it's um Maurizio Catalan um it's just over here the name um perhaps so you can see him and uh yeah um I don't want to read the rest of the article it's just about complaining about by the Miami scene basically um so yeah uh the banana on the wall from the art basil miami beach so if you are in miami i wish i was <laughs> if you are in miami go check the art basil it's um it's always great uh go spend a few days uh immerse in the art um and the art scene that's um happening right now and i want to talk about the next one which is ah uh, this one is going to be a great um a great thing to talk about and there we go guys we lost we lost our job as artists yes we did finally we did lose our job and artists they're not going to be able to paint anymore and do art anymore because uh people uh go they have an app now that makes actual paintings uh, and digital art so yes let's go we lost um our jobs <laughs> uh this is a great this is great um so what to say about this um i mean i actually don't think that we lose uh, we're gonna lose the our job obviously um because there is nothing that when you have an, a real artwork made by a real artist in your house, it's so there is nothing can you you can compare. Um, so it, we, we as an artist, um, I know we're not gonna lose our jobs, but it's gonna make a dent um for sure because i my oh this is this is, okay take it take it slow and matteo we can we can do this when i saw this when i saw this was happening um it go it went viral on instagram so everybody is doing it right now i understand it's a trend and um i was actually intrigued um and i was like oh because I'm not against the technology side of this. Um, I actually love technology and I think it's a great, um, in general, it's a, it's a, it's a great thing. Um, and I don't think technology is going to completely take over jobs in general. Um, there are some jobs, obviously, that we know the uh, human are not doing anymore, but that's another story. Um, so about this. So this is an app called Lensa. So this app, um, you can upload, um, I think around 20 picture of view and the app will make around 50 images, uh, paint like painting style images of, of your, of yourself. Um, so it will generate, um, digital portrait basically of you 
of or whatever you put in um in in the thing but my issue let's say it's that um this i when i when i saw this and, and i when i saw so many people doing it i thought there was um i thought there was a it was a free app so um but i found out that it's not you actually have to pay and quite a lot um down the um down the thing uh, the article you can actually see um the prices but let's okay let's read the article this week millions um came face to face to i um, ai generated version of themselves thanks to the app lensa so lensa is the app which used machine learning to spit out illustration based on photos or of um, photos you provide so you upload some photos and she will and the app, she the app will provide um picture digital picture and uh it went uh, crazy like lots lots of people um did it lensa um photo a uh, video editing app from prisma labs has been around since an um, 18 hour oh, uh, 2018 um, but skyrocket the download skyrocket skyrocket uh, lately in november um for the launch of magic avatars um so it's the thing that made the pictures the um, the app saw 4 million installed in the first five days of December compared to the 2 million in November. Shooting to the top of the chart uh, in Apple and Google App Stores. Consumers spend... This, this is crazy. Consumers spend 8.2 million in the app during the five days period. This is mental. This is mental. So... Obviously, this is, is in total, it's around the world. So, obviously, it's not one person paying for eight, two point millions, uh, a painting, digital painting, um, made from an app. So, but the app is uh, subscription, subscription based uh, and a cost of 35 per year, $35 per year, with an extra charge of two, three, uh, between three or 12. Uh, for packs um, of avatar so people are paying 35 36 euro per year so you have the app for the whole year so if you pay an artist 36 euros you will get something like you will get a proper painting there are some people that paint for that cheap um i mean even if it's a small thing, but it's a real thing. It's not a digital created by an app portrait. Okay, you're going to have it for the whole year instead of once payment. So you can make a lot more. But how many digital picture of yourself you're going to make? Like once you use it once, twice, you have this hundred painting of you, digital painting of you, what, what why why you want to use it more than once and why you want to pay 36 euro uh 36 dollars for this so upload eight to ten photos of yourself with a face filling um most of frame yeah you can then then the models generate images based on your face in different artistic style anime or fairy princess so yeah, you get different different styles. So I understand, I understand the appealing um um of like why you want the, you want to have this and but when I saw I mean so many people doing it on Instagram, sharing on Instagram, I thought it was free. I thought it was a free app. So that's why I was like, okay, cool. Like people are doing this. It's a new thing and fair. But if they are paying, why you don't pay an artist? to do this i mean i think you can see it here at the beginning um the kind of like quality it's a it's a it's a great quality it's a great quality but i know so many more artists so many artists that can do 
this uh, even better yeah for that kind of price maybe a little bit more but at least you get a one original artwork from an artist that's what I, it's really annoys me like about this it's not about the fact that people are playing with this and it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fun do it yeah go ahead it's the fact they're paying an app instead of paying an actual an actual artist because yeah, there's these eight point two millions that people paid for it around the world. They could have gone to a lot of artists and maybe help them. Uh, let's see what do we care about? What how may who made Lensa? No. What else does Lensa do? No. How does Lensa create high avatar? No. Will the image look like me? Well, yes. Uh, should I be worried about privacy? Uh, this is something that they said that um, um, Lensa does, uh, doesn't share any data or inside insights of of, of picture uh, from your photos. So, and they should be deleted. Uh, the photo that you provide, they should be deleted as soon they made digital painting. But you know, who knows? Who knows? Uh, I mean, we didn't know that Facebook was selling all the data, uh, our data. So, you know, who knows? Um, and obviously, yeah, there's been backlash from digital artists, which are actually like, I'm not a digital artist, so um, I don't think um, people are going to be like, oh, should I give money to Matteo? Or should I give money to Lenza? We do completely different things, but digital artists, that's what they do. They create digital painting, digital images. And it's what you can get from Lensa. And for them, it's, 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 yeah, it's damaging. It's for sure, for sure it's damaging. Uh, some creators have, um, but also has Lensa Avatar to cover social media feeds. Many digital artists uh, plead with people to think twice before giving money to an app. Lensa styles are based on real art from real people, artists says. And those professionals aren't being compensated. Oh, that's... Nobody really understands that a program taking everyone's art um, and then generating concept art is also affecting our jobs, actually. A story artist, a video games company of Riot Games. Yeah, they can create concept art, which is like, yeah, with like digital landscape, how they made, how the movie or whatever the games are going to look like uh, digitally in the end. So, yeah, this is my take on on this. Yeah, cool, but, you know, it's affecting for sure digital artist. Next, and my friends, they are back. We're going to talk about this again. Yes, they did it again. Well done. We, we, we finally changed the world with this. Uh god damn it. I actually want to talk about, about this in particular, which you know, he happened. What Matteo said a few episodes again uh, ago, it happened. Um they damaged the statue. Yes, they did it. They damaged the statue. Nothing major, but they did damage the, the statue. So they um, in November 18, uh, Charles Ray sculpture got attacked by the ultimate generation um, climate change uh, protester. Um, with so they attacked this statue, which is obviously in the middle of the square, with orange paint. They throw the orange paint on the statue straight on the statue uh we had a couple of um no this one this one had um a glass 
There was one that happened in Italy, I think. Uh, I don't, I don't know if this one, this article has a. Yeah, this one. Ultimate, ultimate generation activists glued themselves to uh, Lycoon and his son statue at the Vatican Museum in Rome. These geniuses, they are not directly on the statue, but this is part of the whole thing. So, again, it's not on the actual statue, but it's on the base of the statue, which is part of the statue, and they've been... Um, the statue got damaged. Min minor damage for now, but it did go damaged. So if we don't stop doing this, it's going to end up that we're actually going to damage something because this... Okay, simply because uh, we'll get to the point that this stuff, it will not get covered by the media anymore because they, they are doing it so many times and people are kind of tired and because it doesn't make any sense like why they're doing this and like what's the connection between the two things I it will get to the point that to make again the news and for the media to so, to talk about this again they're going to take it to the step for, a step further and then again a step further and then again a step further until we're going to get to the point that something it will get damaged for real and then we're gonna lose a piece a masterpiece an artwork or something a statue why why we need to get to that point why instead of using all this energy for this why you don't push your energy to build and create and talk about this something for like doing something for real this is, annoys me so much. These people are so stupid. Like, if, if there is somebody watching that's part of this and wants to talk to me and wants to be part of the episode, please come and talk to me because I do not understand why, you, like, this is not helping the cause at all. Nothing. Not, nobody, no nation I reported, okay, guys, because we're seeing so many attacks, okay, we're going to stop this. And we're going to change the whole world because... People throw painting, uh, paint are some painting. Like nobody's doing that. There is no consequences to this. The only thing that you do, it's attention. So if you're doing it for attention, cool, come clean, say it, and it's fine. Just that's the only thing. That's why you're doing it. There's nothing else I can see why you're doing this. This is only for attention. It's not attention for the cause. It's attention for themselves because they wanna be recorded they want to be in the news their face it's in the news it's not if they didn't care they will cover their face and they will do this like they will find a way to know make, like their face make the news so you're doing this because you want attention and you want to just you want to this is this is so stupid i'm so annoyed but this is so frustrating you get to the point that okay cool like this is a, this is just a, a thing now that people do. There's no there is no leverage that you have doing this on like people that actually can change stuff. Get some intelligent people in your organization and go talk to the council, go talk to the government. It they will listen, they will talk to you. Nothing's gonna change tomorrow, but you will create a, an actual conversation because this is nothing. This is five minutes of fame for you guys. Nothing. This is nothing. Yeah. yeah. And let's go talk about... Let's go see the banana again. There we go. People buying bananas. And yeah, that's it, guys. Um, today was a a pretty short one, and again, sorry, I was a bit annoyed. But let's go. We did a new episode of the Artful News, and again, subscribe to the channel, guys. I will see you next week. Uh, every Monday, 
at 2 p.m. there is a new episode coming out. Uh, sometimes I interview artists. Sometimes um, I talk about news. Um, if there is something uh, something new coming up, you will see it. So subscribe to the channel, share the video, like, and yeah. Thank you guys for listening. I'll see you next week. And this was the Artful Podcast. Thank you.